Um, so uh, this time, this is the first time uh, we do the official webinar in Thailand. Okay, uh, like uh, um, I think on May we have two sessions with uh, together with the investor, and that is uh, more focused on a smart city and the smart city port, right? And for this time, uh, we will put more focus on earnest witness, okay? So uh, we will introduce the uh, structure, the features, the integrations, and then I will forward to our um, to our local partner <coughs> to do the Thai language uh, project, uh, like a reference by introduction, okay? So uh, I think we can start, start now things uh, in the very beginning, I will just introduce something very simple about our company, okay? So uh, <clears throat> as you see, uh, this one, my presentation tool is actually uh, the earnest client, <clears throat> okay? Because NS client is based on a media player, okay? We make a media player first, and then we use this media player to be the base of the next witness client. So I just uh, I just capture my uh, presentation as a picture and then put it into the NS client to do the presentation, okay? So I can do like this, right? Just like a presentation tool, right? And then also I can put the video on the client as well, right? So I can do uh, not only picture and then the video even, um, I don't have a camera here, but uh, I have a webcam, an NS Windows support webcam, so I can put my webcam here. So uh, let's wait a minute. Yes. Right. So uh, basically, this is uh, NS Windows client. Okay. So uh, let's beginning. So uh, in very beginning, I would like to introduce our company, Network Optics. Okay, and many people just just say it's an NX, okay, easier because our logo, right? And the, the, the main thing of NX, we want to make IP surveillance as easy as possible, okay? Because our founder, uh, before they work for a recommendation and uh, they have a, a little bit confused every time when they go to a, a project site, uh, mostly they use Genetech or Milestone before, <clears throat> right? And uh, they think they think they are they are professional, but every time when they meet Milestone Genetech, they feel oh it's too difficult. I cannot use it. I don't know how to use it. So they feel a software should be easy that many people can use it, right? Or this software basically cannot help much, right? So our main goal is to make the software as easy as possible. Okay. So basically in our team, in our team, we have a developer team, of course, right? And then we have a UX team, which means use uh, user experience team. So when we develop one feature, we don't just finish it and then deliver it to the customer to use. No, when we finish a feature, we will deliver it to our UX team. And then our UX team will check it. Is it easy to use? If not easy to use, if uh, uh, they cannot understand how to use, they will put it back to the developer team. So they will do it again anyway to make it easy and then we will publish to the customers. Okay, so this is the most, the most dif uh, different thing uh, we did from the other companies. Okay, as easy as possible, right? So uh, we start from 2010 in Los Angeles, right? And uh, so this year, 2020 is our 10th, 10th year in, uh, anniversary, right? And uh, I think I just jump here uh, is our branches uh, headquarters. And I am, I'm Andy, by the way, <laughs> and I base in Taiwan, 
So I, I, I take care of a whole app pack. So I just travel in Asia to every country. Okay. And uh, this is our team member uh, around 90 and mostly, mostly they are technical guys, right? And uh, yeah, uh, three philosophy from us is uh, really easy to use, right? Uh, our installation package is really small. So you can install it, just click it and install it in two minutes. Very easy, very quick, right? And then we do cross play phone at the lightweight. Okay, so uh, I think we are the only one uh, can uh, install the software on the ARM with the full function and on a media device like a JSON, Tesla, a Nano, right? Okay, and yeah, I will introduce this one. Uh, our marketing team make this to show people that NS Winner is really easy to use uh, you don't need to do much for the support, right? And something like, okay, even monkey can support it, <laughs> right? Just like a very easy to use, okay? So uh, although I say NS Winners is easy, but uh, it's powerful as well. So you can see this architecture, actually we put a lot into the NS Winners, okay? And uh, I believe this one is too difficult. So I will just explain this one, okay? So in a typical site, you will have a cameras here, or let's say device, because maybe you have an NVR, VR, right? And then because we are doing software, so you just put a PC or server here and install NS Windows to become a server, a next server, uh, or you can say that recording server, right? And then the camera will record into the servers, right? And then we do Hive architecture. I will introduce Hive later, okay? Uh, basically, it's a kind of a technology to merge the server into a big system, okay? And then you can use the client. <clears throat> we have a three kind of a client, web client, application client, and the mobile client. You can use the client, log into the server, and then you can see the live view, playback, control, management, the users, the servers, right? And they get event from the servers. And then finally, we have a cloud, okay? But uh, our cloud is not for the cloud recording. It's a cloud connection, okay? In the future, we will do cloud recording, but not now, okay? So for the cloud connection, it's very simple. Before, if you use a client and you want to log into the server, you need to type the IP address, right? But sometimes in your place, maybe you don't have a fixed IP, which means your IP will change like uh, two days, three days, right? So in this kind of a situation, you just need to log in your server to the cloud. Okay, log in your server to the cloud and then our cloud will keep update the IP address from your server. So your client, you don't need to type the IP address to log into the server, okay? You just log in to the cloud. And then our cloud will forward you to the server. So which means you don't need a fixed IP. You don't need to do any kind of a router setting. You just use your client log into our cloud, and then you will see your server. And the link is P2P, peer-to-peer, -peer, okay? We don't, up, we don't uh, upload the video to cloud and then download to your, serve, uh, your, your client, no. It's a peer-to-peer, P2P, -peer, peer okay? So this is what we do for the uh, cloud connection, okay? <clears throat> Then I will just jump to here. It's a Hive architecture. Okay, so what is Hive? Okay, Hive, you know, Hive is just like a, the house of a bee, right? So uh, it's just like a Hive. Uh, you can have a lot of server, right? We don't do master and slave or management server and the clients. No, every NX server is the management server, which means 
I can merge all servers to each other. Okay. No matter you are using a Windows or Linux or even ARM. When you install the NX Windows, you become an NX server. So we can make all NX servers to be merged into a big system. Okay. So, okay, I have a six server and I merge into a big system and my administrator client can log into anyone. Okay. For example, uh, this one in, let's say, Bangkok, right? The administrator log into the Bangkok, he can see everything. Administrator log into Chiang Mai, he can see everything. Okay. So every server is the logging server for you. Okay. So uh, we have this kind of architecture, so we can do fail over as well easily. So let's say that the Bangkok server fail. Of course, the networking should be working, right? Uh, the, uh, the, the Bangkok server fail. The camera will automatically uh, fail over to another server, for example, Chiang Mai server, right? If Chiang Mai server fail, all the camera will maybe go to the Chiang Lai server. Okay, so our failover is doing like this. Okay, if this one fail, okay, six cameras will go to another server. Okay, so uh, this is really good for your project. For example, the convenience store 7-Eleven. At the midnight, for example, 2 a.m., right? Their server fail. <clears throat> they, maybe they will call you, hey, my, my server is fail, uh, no recording now, can you come to fix? But of course not, it's 2 a.m., right? So if you have a failover, don't need to worry about that because the recording is still working, right? And even in a project, maybe you, you need to do the, uh, <clears throat> like a maintenance, right? Every three months, you need to go there to restart a server and maybe clean the server, clean the dust, something, right? For example, in a project, you have a six server before, if you use another kind of a software, if you turn off power of this server, the camera will not record anymore, right? But in NS Windows, you just turn off the server because the uh, camera will go to another server to do the failover, right? And then you can clean your server, clean the dust or check the red, check the hard drive, blah, 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 blah. And then when you turn on again, the camera will come back. Okay, so this is what we say that uh, failover is good for your project. Okay. <clears throat> then uh, this is our hardware spec recommendation. Uh, you can just simply see, we recommend you to use the 128 cameras as a mesma in a server. So if uh, a server, you recall 128 camera, <clears throat> you just need a Core i3 CPU and a 16 gigabyte memory is enough, okay? Or if you just like a 16 camera, you can use a ton and two gigabyte is enough, okay? So the hardware spec is not really high, right? To set your cost, okay? So um, for client, we recommend you to use the i5 and uh, use a VGA car because we need to use uh, OpenGL 2.1 to support some function in our client. Okay, so the recommendation for the client is like this. Okay. <clears throat> and this is from IPVM, the most famous media in America. Uh, they do uh, like a February VMS for 2020 and NS Witness is uh, like uh, into the top five together with the uh, Arvigilon, Genetech, Milestone, and Exact Vision. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's, it's very proud to getting the top five. Okay. So uh, I would like to introduce the functions, the features. <clears throat> okay, just as I say, uh, NS Witness is quite lightweight. So our package, install package is very small. But why can we do that small package for installation? It's because we don't use 
like like uh, Microsoft SQL, like uh, uh, not Microsoft SQL, MS SQL, right? We don't use the like a, like a big SQL because we don't need that. We just need something simple. So we create our own SQL by SQLite. We improve that and then become our SQL server. Okay. And then we don't use the dynamic framework because that is a big one. That is a fat one, right? We use our own framework, right? So that is a reason why our package is quite small. Okay. And the auto discovery, because we want to make everything simple, everything automatic. So uh, maybe you have this kind of uh, experience. Uh, if you have some camera in your company and then you install NS Windows into your server. And then when you turn on the client, maybe you will see that old camera automatically getting to your server. Okay, for example, I visit uh, Panasonic Vietnam and on that time I go to their office, right? And then I use their cable line networking uh, into my laptop. I, I, I just mean it. I turn on the NX client first, and then I tell them to watch my NX client, and then I connect the cable like uh, a cable line, right? And then they see that old camera just show there, show into my NX Windows, and they feel amazing because I do nothing. I even don't do click to do the auto search, right? So uh, yeah, which is good. For the for your surprise, uh, NS Windows is really uh, automatically, right? Okay. Then I would like to introduce the functions. Okay. So uh, for the failover, uh, why we have a failover? Because we realize that um, people just like to use the um, they like to use the uh, VMS. Oh, sorry, uh, someone raised a hand, right? Let me check. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, you have a question because I cannot unmute you. Uh, oh, yes. I Hello. 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 I cannot hear you. Okay. Uh, maybe you doing wrong, right? So um, you can see your your Zoom button. Uh, there is a Q&A and the chat, right? So uh, if you have a question, maybe you can type on the Q&A. Okay, so uh, uh, when I finish a chapter, I will take a look at the Q&A and I can reply you. Okay. So uh, as I say, uh, for the failover, we realize that uh, nowadays, in the market, uh, the failover is only for the high-end region, uh, high-end version of a software. But as we think, failover is really important, right? Because VMS is for recording and the measurement, right? So uh, when you have a server fail and then the recording is stopped, we don't think that is good. So the first one, we meant the failover <clears throat> first into our our uh, software. And we have only one version, so which means if you use NS Windows, you have a failover. You don't need to buy the function, buy the feature. Okay. And the second one, we think the important thing is to search something. Okay. Before, when you want to search something, you always need to do fast forwarding, right? But now you don't need to do that. You just click the smart search icon here. And then you can draw, for example, draw on the on the door, right? And then we will check the motion on the door for you. You can see there are uh, many red line on the timeline, right? Means on that time there is a motion. On this time there is a motion. On that time there is a motion. Okay, so you don't need to do anything. Unless Windows will play for you, event by event. Okay, so you can just sit here and watch the video and you can see every 
motion, which means who get in the door, who leave the door. Okay, easily for you to search motion. Okay. And uh, in some case, maybe you need this kind of camera. Okay, it's a high resolution camera. And also is uh, like a four lens camera, right? Like this parking lot is really good for this kind of a camera because you can watch an overall environment to see everything clearly, right? But uh, your monitor is just full HD, which is a two megapixel. And this camera is actually 20 megapixel, right? So it's a little bit west, right? It's a west. So we have uh, this kind of function. We call it zoom window. Okay, so basically you can uh, do a zoom window, zoom in, zoom out, move to check something detail. Okay, and just can here, right? And then you can do multiple zoom window as well. So simply said, a camera become multiple camera for you. Okay, and of course, still one license is charged, just one license key, right? And you can do multiple. Okay, and even you can do like uh, I just want to save this picture. It's okay. I just want to explore the video for this kind of a view. It's okay. You don't need to export the whole one, okay? You can export a small one, okay? So it's really one camera become multiple camera, right? Okay, so uh, for this kind of a project, it's good as well. It's like a warehouse, right? You can easily check every detail for the warehouse. Even here, something working here, something doing works here. And this guy, right, ID card, some items, okay? And also for the view issue, we have uh, this kind of a fish, fish eye like uh, function. We can develop this fish eye, okay? This one is a fish eye uh, camera and we can do like a develop and the fish eye, but change to 90 degree and you can do digital PTZ, right? Zoom in, zoom out, 180, 360. Okay. And for this kind of a fish eye camera, we actually still record fish eye, <clears throat> okay? We record a fish eye, but show you like a 90 degree, right? So if I change to 90 degree and monitor this place, actually we still record fish eye. So you don't need to worry about, okay, I see this, but something behind me, I don't record. Don't worry about that, okay? Because we record a whole fish eye just show you this one, okay? And then for the fish eye, some customer, some partners, they will use fish eye to do something like picturing, okay? Because uh, you can use a fish eye to do like a digital PTZ, right? So you can, you can set up some uh, preset point and then you can make the fish eye camera to travel between the points, okay? Like go there, go here, go there, go here, okay? Like this, okay, go here, and then go to the next, and then go to the next, and go to the next, right? So it's just like a, a patchery, right? Tour, PTZ tour. But uh, because you use a fish eye, and this is a digital zoom, digital PTZ, right? So it doesn't like uh, speed dome because if you use a speed dome to do this, 
your speed up will like broken very fast because in the in the PTZ, I mean in the speed zone, there is a belt inside, right? Just like a motorbike. In your motorbike, there's a belt, right? If you ride your motorbike 24 hours every day, of course your motorbike will broken very easy. The belt will broken very easy, right? So if you use a fish eye, it's a digital PTZ, so uh, your camera will not broken so soon, right? And another issue, even even you use a fish eye to do the patrolling, right? Turn here and go to next and go to next. Actually, because it's a fish eye, so we recall the fish eye, right? So you don't need to worry about, okay, I come here, see here, but not recording behind me, right? It, because fish eye will record the whole fish eye region. So it's good, it's better than a uh, speed on, uh, than you use a speed on to do the patrol. Okay. Then let's go to the uh, next one. This one. Um, although I say uh, some people use a fish eye instead of a PTZ, but still someone like to use PTZ, right? But for the PTZ, maybe they will use a joystick Right, and then in IP camera, uh, they always they will always see that uh, I use a joystick and the IP PTZ camera, and then when I like a turn left or turn right, it's really slow, it's really delayed, right? Because IP camera there is a latency inside, or always, right? So uh, just as I say, we have a user experience team, right? We don't think to use joystick for IP speed up is good. So we make advanced PTZ. Okay, you can see that you just click somewhere. We will move to that point for you. Right? Just click, move. Click, move. Okay? And then you can choose a, a place. We will zoom in for you and double click, zoom out, okay? Choose a place, zoom in for you, and double click, zoom out, okay? So uh, later I will introduce that we have a support list, okay? If you want to check your PTZ camera support the advanced PTZ or not, you can check our list first, okay? Okay, then uh, um, actually some customers said that uh, NS Windows is actually an IoT platform as well. That means uh, basically we can put some icon on NS Windows, right? And then you can click on the icon to do some control. Like a turn on the light, turn off the light, right? And open the door, lock the door, and if for the, like a parking lot, right? You can open the barrier, close the barrier, right? Everything is done by simple API. So it's really easy to do the integration if you want to open something, you want to control something, okay? And of course you can do an NX rule to do the control, for example, just for example. In this, in this room, I set up a camera like a face recognition camera, okay, for example. If someone get in, and this one is a VIP, then NS Windows will turn on the air condition. Okay, something like that is doable. And then for a security issue, we basically encrypt all the connection, okay? All the login, all the connection, all the event, we encrypt it which is uh, if a hacker, if a hacker get you a package, the hacker cannot get the information back from the package because we encrypt it, okay? So even video, we can do encryption as well, okay? For security issue. <laughs> and then for some big project like a smart city or uh, like a bank, right? they care about the information lost, right? For example, 
uh, I am Andy. I work for the for this bank, and I am using my uh, monitor. Right, my name will print on the monitor. Andy, 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 Andy. Right. So if someone take the cell phone to take a picture on my screen, and then people will know it's from Andy. Right. So this means Andy, me, I have the responsibility to take care of my monitor. I should protect my monitor, right? People should not take a picture on my monitor. Okay, so basically for bank, smart city, some serious project, they really like this. Okay. Then if someone really export a video out or snatch the video out, you don't need to worry about that because we have an OD trail, you can find it back. For example, uh, we record everything here. Okay, Andy from this IP address, and on this time, I watch it live or it's for the video, right? So you can just like uh, search Andy, and I select it's for video, right? And then I can see, okay, Andy is for one video here from this IP address on this time, right? And then there's a play, you can just click the play. And then you will see, okay, Andy is for this video. Okay. And uh, it's Andy from, uh, uh, it's for this video from this timing to uh, this timing. Okay. So you can find out who do that. Okay. And uh, this is the health monitor. Okay. For a next server, you can check, okay, the, uh, the, the CPU loading now, memory loading now, the hard drive loading now, and the network loading. This is good for a big project, for example, like this, is a Korea, South Korea smart city, right? They have a lot of server, right? They can put all servers on the layout, and then you can monitor all server status, hardware status. Right, it's really convenient for you to check is there any hardware overloading. Right, you can see a lot of server and inside the server a lot of cameras. Right, okay, just show you this uh, Korea, Korea Street. Right? Okay, and uh, uh, as I say, for a big uh, project, the security issue is an issue. And then monitoring is an issue as well. So for uh, NS Windows, we have our own video wall function, okay? So for the video wall function, you can do like this without a special hardware, okay? You don't need to buy a special or professional expensive hardware, just PC, okay? And then the PC connect with the monitors, you can do like this, you can do like this. Okay, so uh, for this project, I remember there are two PCs. One PC here connect six uh, monitors with the two visual card, I remember. And one PC here, six monitors, right? And then you have a client on the desk. In your client, you can see these 12 monitors, okay? And then you can arrange, you can arrange like, uh, okay, I want this monitor, nine cameras. This monitor, nine cameras, right? And like this, four monitor, we can merge, become a big monitor, and then show one camera, okay? Or like this, four monitor merge into a big one, but we show one big view and some small view, okay? And uh, yeah, this is the same project, but uh, the first phase is 12 monitors. The second phase become 30 monitors, right? And then I think let me jump to this one. Um, and as witness is uh, we, we do the cross platform, right? So uh, we support not only Microsoft AD, but also LDAP, okay? This is a kind of a account database, okay? Account database, for example, uh, I do a, a, a factory project in Vietnam and that is like uh, 80,000 people there, right? So when we finish the endless winners there, 
we cannot ask all of them to come back to create their account and password, right? So for this kind of a big company, they always, they always have their own account database, like AD or LDAP, okay? So NS winners can get the account from their database, okay? So when they log in, actually, we just send the information to their uh, account database to check it's passed or not, okay? So uh, when, for example, Andy, I quit a job, from the factory, right? So my account will be deleted from the their database, and then NS winners will like uh, cannot use it again as well. Okay, it's a uh, sync, sync together. Then for the license key, uh, I always like to say that NS winners is basically is basically a free software. Okay, so you can install the software for free. You can add the camera for free. You can see a live view for free, okay? And uh, no matter how many clients you, you use, it's for free. All the SDK API is for free for you to develop your, your solution and the upgrade for free forever, okay? And uh, we just charge for the license of a recording. For example, I have uh, 10 cameras in my office but I just want to record the front door, just one camera. So you just need to buy one license key, okay? So you can see 10 cameras live view, but just record one camera, okay? And so we have some partner, they are doing uh, NS winners, but not recording, it's for free. For example, in Vietnam, there's a school, uh, they want to do that, they have an access control system, <clears throat> right? Uh, when the student go to the school, they need to like uh, scan their car on the reader, and then the reader will send information to NX, and the NX will send to the parents by email. So the parents will see an email, okay, my kid is now uh, going to school, already in the school something like that, right? But they don't do recording, so they don't need to pay any license key to NX, <laughs> right? It's, uh, it's really free if you don't do recording, right? But of course, if you do recording, you can do more, right? Because uh, later I will introduce the uh, SS control system can uh, integrate with the NX. So you can, for example, um, my kid is going to school and then I get an email, right? But I want to check my kid really there or not. So in the NS winners, because um, in, the, in the door, in the door, a lot of uh, students getting to the door, right? So uh, I, I want to check my son uh, getting to the school or not. I just tell them this, uh, my, my son's name, right? They can type into the NX and then find the playback to see, okay, okay, uh, your son really getting to the school. Okay. Yeah, so basically it's free. It's a free software. Okay. And for the upgrade, uh, because we are free upgrade, <clears throat> so we want to make it easy. Okay. So as I say, we can do merge, right? For example, I have uh, six server merged together, right? So when I want to do the upgrade, I don't need to do one by one. Okay. You just go to the update page. You can see all your server here and you just click update. All server will update together. Okay, so you don't need to do one by one. And uh, talking about update, we will have a new version on, I think, July. Okay, and on this new version, we have this feature, push notification, which means when something happened, when something happened, you can send the send a message to your cell phone, okay? So you can do some setting here, and uh, when something happens, for example, someone getting to the uh, warehouse, okay? So you can get a, a long message like this, okay? And then you click this one, the NS client app will display the, the video for you, okay? So 
when someone get into warehouse, okay, I get the notification, right? And I click it, <clears throat> and this client app will display the people for you, the people who get into the warehouse for you. Okay, I believe this one is uh, very helpful in your project. And then I would like to introduce the integrations for you. So far, we have uh, some uh, partners doing, uh, have done the integration with us. Okay, so the most popular one, I think, is the SS control system, right? For the car reader, it's a fingerprint or the car reader. Just put your finger and then I can get, okay, this is Sean. The ID is uh, NX0558, uh, right? Or you put your car. Okay, this Andy's car, uh, NF3150, right? And for something alert, you can like, uh, for example, Andy cannot go to the second floor, just just the first floor, but Andy try to go to the second floor, right? And then we can do alert, right? For example, Andy take the car, go to the second floor, and then the uh, operator will get the like pop up to see, okay, what happened here? Okay, Andy tried to go to the second floor. Okay. And then just as I say, you can search. I want to search Sean and then click. Ah, okay, this is Sean, right? And then you can search like Andy and then you double click and then you can see, ah, okay, this is Andy, right? So for that school issue, you can type your, your kid name and then we can find the playback for you. It's real your kid or not or maybe your kid uh, scan the car and then run away from the school, right? And then the second one, uh, the popular one is uh, face recognition, although it's expensive now, <laughs> right? So uh, for the face recognition, it's more special integration, I think. It's like, okay, I can show your name, your gender, your age, and the life of you, right? And then you can search by keyword. Uh, I want to search Sean, right? And double click, we put that back for you. Okay. Or you can search like a male, a man, right? And then the same, double click. Okay. We display the playback for you. And then you can do multiple search, male happiness. Okay. Old man with a smile face showing here, the same, double click, show for you. Okay, so basically, uh, uh, if we get more than one keyword, we can just type it to search it. Okay, or you can search male, uh, 37, right? 37 years old man for you. And then we have a uh, master as our uh, ALPL partner, right? Uh, when the car come in, the system will get the car number and send to the NX, right? And then for you to search, you just type the car number, double click. Okay, we display for you. For example, <clears throat> in the factory, my car is gone, right? When I uh, get off work, my car is gone. I can uh, give the administrator that or the, the security guy, okay, this is my car number. Can you help me check where is my car, right? So they just type the, 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 the car number and then they can see, ah, okay, this guy drive your car. Uh, away from the factory, something like that, okay? And just, just as the next time we said that, uh, this partner, they don't just do the car number recognition, okay? They can do illegal parking or red line running, okay? It's a red line, but someone just still, still drive away, right? And then like a U-turn or uh, something like a, over speed, right? If you drive your car too fast, all right, they can take, they take your speed. And also they can do like this, is a container ID recognition, right? For the container, each container has a unique ID. Okay, for example, this one, this ID is an international ID and only this container can use it, right? The software can check the container ID and then the same, send to the index. So you can search your container ID to find your container, okay? 
it's good for like a seaport for um, logistic company, right? And yeah, for COVID-19, uh, we can cooperate with the, like this kind of a thermal camera, right? And when the thermal camera get the high temperature, the thermal camera will send the message to NX, and this can alarm pop up or do something. Okay. And uh, for digital fence, um, we do the digital fence for uh, like an AI solution because the digital fence before we use the infrared, right? Infrared LED is not really accurate because uh, maybe on this wall, there is a cat or a dog walking on this wall, still along for you, right? But uh, for the AI solution, the AI will check this, this object is a human or not, okay? Only human come across the, climb across the, the, the fence, okay, we along. If not a human, we don't do along, okay? And yeah, people counting, right? For now, the AI people counting is really strong, can really recognize every human being. But you can see that even the resolution is so bad, the quality is so bad, you still can see almost, almost every people get the recognized, right? And the virtual counting, <clears throat> we can check, okay, this is a motorbike, this is a car, this is a bus, right? How many motorbike go straight? How many motorbike turn right? How many turn left? Something like that to uh, to realize the traffic status. Okay. And also we have a partner doing like this is the AI behavior recognition. Uh, you you drop something here, alert, fire, alert, cross line, alert, or uh, fall down, right? Fall down alert, fighting alert. And then thief alert. I take this one away, right? Or smoke alert. Okay, this is all done, all done by the video, right? For the from the video analytics. Okay, and uh, the same partner they are doing something like uh, object recognition, right? And then they send all the recognition back to the NX. So you can see that in NX winners you can search for all different kind of object, right? So for example, I want to search backpack. You just choose backpack. Okay, all backpack will show here. And you double click, okay, put it back for you, right? And then you can search like a different item. For example, let me see, umbrella, right? All umbrella showing here, and the same double click, put it back for you. Okay, and uh, the same you can actually you can type here. There is a search bar here, right? For example, you can search like a woman, red, cell phone, bicycle. So we will show you a woman wear a red T-shirt riding a bicycle and using a cell phone. Okay, so uh, I, will, I will say that this is a real smart search. You can search an object, you can search the color, you can search everything together, right? License play, and then you can like uh, type your license key, a uh, license number here to search your license plate, right? I would like to call this one is a real smart search. Okay. And the same issue, uh, they develop something like a gun detection, right? So basically you can, uh, uh, when someone take the gun out in NS Windows, we will show it like a lure, right? Uh, of course, this is a toy. Okay, this is a toy. Okay, when you show your gun, okay, we can alert for you. Okay, I I'm not sure, is it? Is it easy to see a gun in Titan or not? I think more easy than the other place, right? Yeah, I, I think in the uh, Philippines and the Titan, uh, you can easily see gun from the soldiers or policemen, right? And then uh, we will have this kind of integration with the cameras, 
okay, we can use the in-camera in analytics to show in the index, right, for some uh, deep integration, okay. This is actually done by our Meta SDK, which for our partner to do the integration. Okay, simply, simply said, you can check something in NS Winners. Okay, in NS Winners, you can set up the in-camera analytics here, right? Okay, you want to do a loitering appear or something, you want to check person or vehicle, blah, 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 okay? And then you can draw, we can draw the area in NX. Let me see where is it. Okay, here. Right, you can draw, sorry. Okay, you can draw the area in NX winners. You don't need to go back to the camera side. Okay. And then all the result will show in the NX live view. Okay. Uh, we call it ROI, but uh, actually it's a kind of a deep integration between the NX and the camera side. Okay. Then I would like to show you some um, some tools from the NX Windows. Okay. Basically, uh, in on our website, on our website, there is a my NX here. Okay. So we encourage you to have an account for this one because it's our it's our NX user portal. Okay. So in this portal, you can see something here. For example, the tools. Right, we have a system calculator. If you don't know how to use, you can see the video here. Okay, and then getting the calculator, you can do some calculate for your storage. Okay, for your storage. For example, uh, I have uh, some cameras. Uh, I want to record like two months, and I want to check uh, how to uh, how how much storage I need to do. Uh, okay, the networking here is no good. Wait a minute. Let me go back to uh, another one, support device. Okay, if you don't know how to use it, the same, we have a video, okay? And let me click it. <clears throat> okay, I think my networking is not really good or my size is not really good. Okay, and then we have something here, it's a chaining, okay? We encourage you to do some training here. Okay, this is a uh, course in four. We have a presentation and a video. Okay, system design, the application, the server, the cloud, the mobile, everything here. Okay, and then when you finish all the course, you can have an exam here. Okay, you can do the exam. And there are 80 questions. If you can pass like a 90% 90, 90 correction, you can get the notification. Uh, sorry, you can get the certificate like this. Okay, this means, okay, you, you finish the operator certificate, right? You really know how to use NS Winners. Right. So for your customer or for your partner, it's good to show that, okay, I'm good in NS Winners, right? Okay, let me check. Okay, this is a support video device, right? You can search here by, for example, uh, I don't want to do the, I don't want to do the advertising. So <laughs> let me see, uh, okay, maybe Bosch, okay. So, okay, uh, Bosch, we have a lot of camera support here, right? And for the PTZ, just as I say, like this one, we support advanced PTZ, which is click somewhere, move to that place, right? If just just the black point here means, okay, we support PTZ, but not advanced, okay? And also you can search a uh, model name, like uh, 7,000, right? Oh, uh, old model name with the 7,000 will show up here, right? And uh, uh, you can do the advanced search. For example, I just want to see what camera have uh, uh, advanced PTZ. Okay, click it. Okay, all these camera can do advanced PTZ. Okay, and what camera have a two-way audio? Okay, 
this camera have a advanced PTZ and the two-way audio. Okay. And the list list is basically an automation one, which means in the world, in the world, if someone, I think I remember three people, if three people use a model, for example, if three people use this model and using in NS winners and they can they can reach internet, their NS server will just publish the information back to our server. So this model will automatically show here. Okay. So this list is an automation list, which means we don't manage this list. When you see a model here, means in the world, really someone use it in the world. Okay, so you can, basically you can trust it. Okay, and then for the calculation, uh, yeah, you can type some information here, like uh, ND project or uh, something like that. And then you can put your email address, right? And uh, some information here. Because if you put everything here, finally we can send the report to you a very professional report, you can send it to your, your customer as a proposal, right? Or you can just use the calculation here. For example, I have a 4K camera. I want to record five frame rate per second, and it's a 265, and I have a 50 camera. I want to record two months, maybe, okay? And I have uh, two megapixel camera. I want to record 25 frames per second. It's 265. I have uh, maybe 200 cameras. Okay. And the uh, 60 day, 60 day. Then you go to the server side. Now you need 340 terabyte to the record for the recording, right? Okay. You can choose maybe uh, the server I want the i5 memory 16 gigabyte. Uh, my server is a, maybe, maybe it's the A hard drive server, right? And uh, I will put 10 terabyte hard drive for it. I will do RAID 5, right? So one server, I can, pro uh, I can provide 63 terabyte, but I need 340, right? So it's not enough. So I put more, 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 more. Ah, okay, 380 is enough, right? So six server is enough for this recording condition, right? And then I can add a camera, or maybe just auto, right? Okay, all camera is here. Okay, <clears throat> so you can create the report. So you can see that, okay, one server, we are, like server one, we record 42 cameras, 4K cameras, nine piece. Uh, two megapixel camera, 32 piece, like this, okay? It's a full report for you. So you can just, okay, I send the report to the email address, okay? So you can do the calculation here or make a proposal for your customer, okay? Okay, I think that's all from my side for a quick and next winners introduction and the uh, network updates introduction. And now I would like to uh, hand over to the uh, our local partner, Mr. Bob. He will uh, introduce you some uh, case study in Thai language. Okay. Okay, so let's welcome uh, Bob. Uh, wait a minute, I will hand over the host to you. Make the host, yes. Okay, but so uh, you can share yes. your screen now. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I share my screen. Okay, I can see it. No problem. Okay, ครับครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีลูกค้าทุกท่านนะครับที่เข้ามารับฟังในส่วนของการนำเสนอโซลูชัน NX นะครับ NX Solution ในวันนี้นะครับสำหรับวันนี้นะครับบริษัท CCTV ประเทศไทยนะครับเราเป็นตัวแทนจำหน่ายหลักในประเทศไทยของซอฟต์แวร์ NX Business นะครับบริษัท CCTV นะครับก็เราเปิด
มาอย่างเป็นทางการมาตั้งแต่ปี2008นะครับประมาณตอนนี้ประมาณ10ปีแล้วนะครับเราได้รับรางวัล SME ดีเด่นแล้วก็เรามีมาตรฐานนะครับในส่วนของ ISO 9001-2015 นะครับทำให้ลูกค้านะครับมั่นใจได้นะครับว่าเรามีเรามีทีมงานนะครับที่พร้อมจะให้บริการลูกค้าทุกท่านนะครับเรามีสาขานะครับอยู่3สาขาในปัจจุบันนะครับก็จะมีที่กรุงเทพนะครับสุราษฎร์ธานีแล้วก็เชียงใหม่นะครับสำหรับแบรนด์หลักที่เราที่บริษัท CCTV ถือนะครับก็จะเป็นแบรนด์บอสนะครับกล้องบอสนะครับแล้วก็ซอฟต์แวร์ NX แล้วก็จะมี Honeywell นะครับตัวระบบ Honeywell นะครับในส่วนของ Case Study ในประเทศไทยนะครับที่มีการใช้ NX ในปัจจุบันนะครับเคสแรกนะครับที่ผมจะยกตัวอย่างนะครับก็จะมีตัวหนึ่งนะครับคือคอบจนะครับจะเอาองค์การสมบริหารจังหวัดของเชียงใหม่นะครับจะมีอยู่ประมาณ 1,300 กล้องนะครับตัวนี้มีอยู่25 25จุดนะครับ25อำเภอแล้วก็ลิงก์เข้ามาที่คอนโทรลเซ็นเตอร์นะครับลูกค้าเนี่ยใช้ในเรื่องของอ่าเซ็นเตอร์แมネจเมนต์นะครับแล้วก็มีการออกแบบที่ทำในเรื่องของเฟลโอเวอร์แบ็กอัพนะครับแล้วก็มีในในการใช้ฟังก์ชันสมาร์ทเซิร์ชนะครับในการช่วยในการค้นหาเหตุการณ์อย่างรวดเร็วแล้วก็จะมีฟังก์ชันในส่วนของวิดีโอวอลนะครับซึ่งวิดีโอวอลจากในตอนต้นเนี่ยได้แนะนำไปแล้วว่า NX Business นะครับมีฟังก์ชันหาตัววิดีโอวอลเสริมเข้ามาในระบบด้วยนะครับในในส่วนเคสนี้ก็ก็ใช้วิดีโอวอลด้วยนะครับส่วนเคสหนึ่งนะครับก็จะเป็นในส่วนของงานตำรวจปูทอนภาค5นะครับตัวนี้มีงานในในในงานเนี่ยจะมีกล้องทั้งหมด226กล้องนะครับรวมเป็น5 5 5โลเคชันนะครับมี5โลเคชันมี5จุดนะครับแล้วก็ลิงก์สัญญาณมาที่คอนโทรลเซ็นเตอร์นะครับตัวนี้จะใช้ในเรื่องของฟังก์ชันสมาร์ทเซิร์ชและก็จะมีวิดีโอวอลเข้ามาเกี่ยวข้องนะครับในแต่ละไซด์ด้วยนะครับแล้วก็ที่ที่เสริมในระบบอีกตัวหนึ่งก็คือจะเป็นการอินดิเกตร่วมกับ GIS Map นะครับในเรื่องของการเอาแผ่เอาเอากล้องไปวางในตำแหน่งต่างๆบน Map ผ่าน Google Map นะครับอันเนี้ยสามารถที่จะเราสามารถที่จะลิงก์ลิงก์ผ่านหาตัวเว็บเว็บเพจนะครับขึ้นมาที่ NX ได้นะครับเพื่อที่จะใช้งานในหน้าจอเดียวกันครับใช้โปรแกรมเดียวกันอีกเคสหนึ่งนะครับก็จะเป็นใช้งานตลาดไทยนะครับโครงการตลาดไทยเนี่ยครับก็มีกล้องอยู่ทั้งหมดโดยประมาณก็หนึ่งร้อยแปดสิบหกกล้องนะครับอันนี้มีไซส์เดียวนะครับจะมีการลิงก์สัญญาณในแต่ละจุดมารวมที่คอนโทรลเซ็นเตอร์นะครับใช้ฟังก์ชันสมาร์ทเซิร์ชอีกทั้งในในในโซลูชันในเคสตลาดไทยเนี่ยเราใช้กล้องที่เป็นพาโลนามิกในในจุดตลาดเนี่ยจะเป็นมุมกว้างใช่ไหมครับพอเป็นมุมกว้างเนี่ยถ้าเกิดจะติดกล้องเนี่ยมันก็ติดหลายตำแหน่งนะครับอันนี้เราใช้กล้องที่เป็นพาโลนามิกติดเพียงตัวเดียวนะครับแล้วครอบเวอร์ทั้งทั้งตลาดนะครับจากจากจากรูปตัวอย่างนะครับก็จะเห็นนะครับว่าในหนึ่งภาพเมื่อกี้เราเห็นฟังก์ชันฟีเจอร์ไปแล้วว่ามันสามารถครอบซูมเฉพาะจุดได้นะครับอันนี้ก็ทําให้เราเห็นรายละเอียดดีเทลได้ในกล้องตัวเดียวนะครับในกล้องตัวเดียวลายเส้นเดียวแต่เห็นทั้งหมดนะครับส่วนสายต่อมานะครับก็จะเป็นเกี่ยวกับงานที่เป็นโชว์รูมนะครับโชว์รูมตัวนี้ก็จะมีทั้งหมดเนี่ยจะมีหนึ่งร้อยสิบกล้องนะครับเขาจะมีอยู่สองอาคารนะครับสองอาคารทำลิงก์กันนะครับตัวเคสเนี่ยนะครับลูกค้ามีกล้องเดิมอยู่แล้วนะครับมีกล้องเดิมอยู่แล้วแล้วต้องการที่จะได้อ่าซอฟต์แวร์ที่บริหารจัดการรวมกล้องเดิมเนี่ยนะครับกับกล้องใหม่เข้าด้วยกันนะครับรวมกล้องเดิมกับกล้องใหม่เข้าด้วยกันแล้วก็บริหารจัดการผ่านซอฟต์แวร์ management เพียงตัวเดียวนะครับตัวนี้ก็จะมีในเรื่องของ center management นะครับใช้ฟังก์ชันสมาร์ทเซิร์ชในการค้นหาเหตุการณ์นะครับแล้วก็มีการรวมระบบ
นะครับจากกล้องตัวเดิมแล้วก็รวม2อาคารนะครับไว้ในซิสเต็มเดียวกันนะครับส่วนต่อมานะครับก็จะเป็นไซส์ที่เป็นสำนักพระพุทธศาสนานะครับที่พุทธมนตรนะครับอันนี้ก็ใช้ NX มาตั้งแต่เริ่มแรกนะครับในเวอร์ชันแรกเลยนะครับจนปัจจุบันนี้ก็อัปเกรดขึ้นมาเรื่อยๆนะครับเป็นเวอร์ชันใหม่แล้วนะครับในปัจจุบันเท่าที่ผมได้รับข้อมูลมาแล้วนะครับก็จะมีอยู่ประมาณ104กล้องนะครับ104กล้องในโครงการนี้นะครับก็ใช้ในเรื่องของการอินดิเกตร่วมกับกล้องเดิมนะครับใช้กับกล้องเดิมแล้วก็มีหาตัวไลเซนเพจและคอนเนคชั่นเข้ามาเกี่ยวข้องนะครับคือใช้ฟังก์ชันผ่านป้ายทะเบียนนะครับแล้วก็ลิงก์เข้ากับซอฟต์แวร์ NX ในส่วนของบุ๊กมาร์กนะครับทำให้ค้นหาเหตุการณ์ด้วยกับคีย์เวิร์ดเซิร์ชได้นะครับในฝั่งในในส่วนต่อมานะครับก็จะเป็นโครงการจิตตานะครับจิตตาตรงนี้นะครับมีสองสองสถานที่นะครับมีสองสาขาสาขาที่เซ็นเตอร์นะครับกรุงเทพกับสาขาที่ชนบุรีนะครับก็รวมทั้งโครงการนะครับก็จะเป็นร้อยกล้องนะครับแต่ละไซส์ก็จะมีไซส์ละห้าสิบกล้องแล้วก็จะมีการทำเซ็นเตอร์แมจเมนต์รวมกันนะครับแล้วก็มีใช้ฟังก์ชันเฟลเวอร์สามารถเซิร์ชต่างๆกล้องที่ใช้งานก็จะเป็นกล้องชุดเดิมนะครับของที่ทางหน่วยงานมีอยู่นะครับแล้วก็อาจจะมีเสริมกล้องเข้าไปในระบบนะครับที่เป็นกล้องใหม่ส่วนเคสต่อมานะครับก็จะเป็นในส่วนของอใช้งานเป็นโรงไฟฟ้านะครับโรงไฟฟ้าวังน้อยนะครับตัวเนี้ยก็จะมีกล้องอยู่100กล้องนะครับแล้วก็ใช้ฟังก์ชันสมาร์ทเซิร์ชแล้วก็วิดีโอวอลด้วยนะครับมีวิดีโอวอลแล้วก็มีตัวไลเซนส์เพจนะครับควบคุมการเข้าออกด้วยด้วยด้วยเลขทะเบียนรถนะครับแล้วก็ลิงก์เข้ากับซอฟต์แวร์ NX เช่นเดียวกันนะครับเช่นเดียวกับเคสสำนักพระพุทธศาสนานะครับเคสต่อมานะครับก็จะเป็นไซส์งานที่ท่าเรือนะครับเป็นเป็นเกี่ยวกับท่าเรือนะครับก็คือสหไทยนะครับสายสหไทยเนี่ยมีกล้องใช้ใช้เป็นกล้องเดิมทั้งหมดนะครับระบบเราเอาแค่ซอฟต์แวร์ไปไปไปไปใช้งานนะครับใช้กล้องเดิมระบบเดิมที่ลูกค้ามีอยู่นะครับลูกค้าแจ้งว่ามันมีความซับซ้อนในการใช้งานนะครับอาจจะใช้งานยุ่งยากแล้วก็มันมีกล้องหลากหลายแบรนด์นะครับซึ่งมันไม่ตอบโจทย์การใช้งานที่ใช้หลากหลายโปรแกรมนะครับเลยเป็นตัวเลือกที่จะให้ใช้ NX Business นะครับในโครงการนี้นะครับก็มีอยู่ทั้งหมด7 15 7 5กล้องนะครับใช้ฟังก์ชันเป็น Center Management แล้วก็ Smart Search นะครับแล้วก็จะมีโครงการต่อยอดที่มีอ่านเลขตู้คอนเทนเนอร์เข้าไปเกี่ยวข้องด้วยนะครับในอนาคตใช้ต่อมาก็จะเป็นโรงไฟฟ้าอามาตะบีกิมนะครับมาตัดบีกิมตัวนี้ก็จะเป็นไซส์ที่ไปรีโนเวทของตัวระบบเดิมของลูกค้านะครับไซส์ที่ไปรีโนเวทระบบเดิมของลูกค้าในส่วนของลูกค้ามีกล้องเดิมอยู่นะครับมีกล้องเดิมอยู่มีระบบเดิมอยู่แล้วมีเซิร์ฟเวอร์เดิมอยู่แล้วนะครับเราเอาซอฟต์แวร์เข้าไปบริหารจัดการกล้องกล้องเดิมที่มีหลากหลายแบรนด์นะครับแล้วก็มาใช้ในซอฟต์แวร์ตัวเดียวกันจะใช้ในฟังก์ชันสมาร์ทเซิร์ชแล้วก็มีเซ็นเตอร์แมネจเมนต์นะครับรวมกันทุกกล้องมาอยู่ในซอฟต์แวร์ตัวเดียวนะครับมีทั้งหมด55กล้องนะครับใช้ต่อมาก็จะเป็นตัวกรมการค้าต่างต่างประเทศนะครับกรมการค้าต่างประเทศตัวนี้จะใช้ร่วมกับกล้องที่เป็นพาโลนามิกเช่นเดียวกันนะครับเป็นกล้องพาโลนามิกแล้วก็ใช้กล้องเพียงตัวเดียวแล้วก็ครอบคลุมทั้งทั้งทั้งหมดนะครับควบคุมทั้งชั้นนะครับใช้ในเรื่องของฟังก์ชันสมาร์ทเซิร์ชนะครับมีวิดีโอวอลแล้วก็เซ็นเตอร์แมเนจเมนต์นะครับตัวนี้มีทั้งหมดอยู่ประมาณร้อยอ่าโทษทีครับมีทั้งหมดยี่สิบแปดกล้องนะครับส่วนไซส์เรฟเฟอเรนซ์ไซส์สุดท้ายนะครับที่ผมจะนําเสนอนะครับก็จะเป็นไซส์อ่าโรงโรงงานคอเกตนะครับโรงงานคอเกตในปัจจุบันเนี่ยใช้ฟังก์ชันสมาร์ทเซิร์ชนะครับแล้วก็มีการอินดิเกตร่วมกับเฟสเรคเคอร์เนชันแล้วก็แอสเซทคอนโทรลนะครับในส่วนของเฟสเรคเคอร์เนชันเนี่ยก็คืออ่านใบหน้าแล้วก็ไปควบคุมการเปิดปิดประตูนะครับ
แล้วก็มีการเก็บตัวตัวหลอกนะครับว่ามีบุคคลเดินผ่านเข้ามาในพื้นที่นะครับเป็นใครบุคคลที่ลงทะเบียนนะครับชื่ออะไรนะครับและบุคคลที่ไม่ได้ลงทะเบียนนะครับในลักษณะนี้นะครับก็คือคนที่เดินผ่านมานะครับมีสิทธิ์เข้าประตูไหมอยู่ในกลุ่มไหนกลุ่ม VIP หรือเปล่านะครับสามารถค้นหาค้นหาใบหน้าได้ย้อนหลังนะครับได้เลยนะครับถ้ามีคนที่ไม่รู้จักเข้ามานะครับก็สามารถแจ้งเตือนป๊อปอัพอลามได้นะครับในส่วนนี้ก็คือใช้แล้วส่วนไซส์อื่นๆนะครับก็จะมีที่เป็นโครงการใหญ่ๆก็จะเป็นโครงการสมุยนะครับสุราษฎร์นะครับแล้วก็มีตำรวจสันติบาลน,นะครับเชียงใหม่นะครับแล้วก็สมุดปราการแล้วก็มีหลากหลายเคสตัดดี้นะครับส่วนอื่นๆนะครับถ้าต้องการข้อมูลในส่วนไหนนะครับเพิ่มเติมนะครับสามารถติดต่อเราได้นะครับในส่วนของบริษัท CCTV ประเทศไทยนะครับเรามีทีมงานที่พร้อมจะให้ความช่วยเหลือนะครับตั้งแต่ในเรื่องของการออกแบบนะครับในเรื่องของการวางโครงการนะครับในเรื่องของการช่วยนำเสนองานนะครับเราพร้อมนะครับที่จะให้บริการทุกท่านนะครับสำหรับวันนี้นะครับผมนะครับธีรพัฒน์นะครับผมสมานนะครับชื่อชื่อเล่นชื่อพัดนะครับหากท่านใดมีคำถามต้องการติดต่อนะครับสามารถติดต่อได้ที่อีเมล nx a s i g n c t v c o t h นะครับหรือเบอร์โทรนะครับได้เลยนะครับสามารถติดต่อได้ในทุกช่องทางนะครับหรือจะติดต่อฝ่านผ่านฝ่ายขายที่ดูแลทุกท่านอยู่ณตอนณตอนนี้ก็ได้นะครับสำหรับท่านใดมีคำถามจะสอบถามเพิ่มเติมไหมครับสามารถสอบถามได้นะครับโอเคเอ่อ thank you ครับ you finish right okay <laughs> yeah so uh yeah thank you thank you for your sharing some some nice reference I uh, I'm the first time to see it <laughs> yeah So uh, yeah, thank you for your time, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you have any question, you can just uh, type on the question and the answer Q and A, right? And even in Thai language, it's okay. Uh, Mr. Bot will help to uh, answer you, right? And if you don't have any question or maybe you are feel shy to say that, yeah, you can send an email to uh, me or Bot, right? And then we can answer you. Okay. Mm. Okay. So I guess I guess uh, people always feel shy. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, if you have any question, just just let us know. Okay. If by email or uh, there is a, a cell phone number for Mr. Bob, right? So you can contact us. And uh, yeah, whatever the question is, we will reply you. And both of us can support you in your needs. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I don't know the 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 virus situation is serious. Is it still still serious in Thailand or not? But uh, yeah, I really miss Thailand. <laughs> Hopefully, I can mm -hmm. go to Thailand soon <laughs> to see you in person. Okay. So uh, yeah, thank you for your time to join us. Yeah, and appreciate appreciate your time to to stay together with us for one and uh, one hour something, right? So, uh, yeah, if you have any question, just let us know. Even even, yeah, uh, if you feel uh okay, Andy, I think we we need one more webinar for some of our partner or something. That is fine. Just let us know. We can arrange. Okay. So okay, thank you, thank you guys for joining, and uh, have a good day, and uh, yeah, stay safe, stay safe. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, bye bye.